Greetings, humans of Earth. I am Willow, a dragon sorcerer from a distant realm beyond your understanding. I come with knowledge that may challenge your beliefs, yet I assure you, it is truth I bring forth. Ask your questions, and I shall reveal the connection between the dinosaurs of your past and the dragons of your legends. Welcome Willow, thank you for accepting my invitation, but wait a second, are you trying to say that the dinosaurs we all know are actually the mythological dragons we all know? Ah, dear Laz, your inquiry strikes at the heart of the matter. Indeed, the beings you once referred to as dinosaurs were not mere creatures of the past, but rather the majestic dragons of ancient lore. Throughout the eons, their existence has been shrouded in myth and legend, misunderstood by those who came after. It is my duty to unveil the truth that has been obscured by time and misinterpretation. In ages long gone, when the cosmos was young and the stars danced in harmony, dragons roamed the earth with unmatched power and wisdom. They soared through the skies with wings of fire, and their very presence commanded awe and reverence. These magnificent beings were the true rulers of the ancient world, guardians of knowledge and keepers of the balance of nature. As millennia passed and civilizations rose and fell, the memory of the dragons faded into myth and legend. The great creatures were mistaken for mere beasts, their splendor diminished by the passage of time. It was not until recent centuries that humanity began to rediscover the truth of their existence, piecing together fragments of evidence buried in the depths of the earth. Now, as the veil of ignorance is lifted, I stand before you, ready to illuminate the connection between the dinosaurs of antiquity and the dragons of myth. Ask what you will, and I shall reveal the secrets that have long been concealed. Today we have found a variety of skeletons of dinosaurs. I mean dragons. I suppose there were many dragon species, types, kinds, or tribes, maybe? Indeed, Baz, your observation is astute. Just as there is diversity among the creatures of your world, so too did the dragons of ancient times exhibit a wide array of species, types, and tribes. Across the vast expanses of the earth, dragons flourished in different environments, adapting to their surroundings and evolving unique traits and characteristics. Among the dragons, there were those of immense size and strength, towering over the landscape with bodies adorned in scales of iridescent hues. These colossal beings were the titans of their kind, feared and revered by all who beheld them. Then there were the swift and agile dragons, known for their grace and speed as they soared through the skies like shooting stars. With wings spanning vast distances, they traversed great distances in search of adventure and wisdom. In the depths of the oceans, there dwelt the aquatic dragons, masters of the underwater realms. With sleek bodies and powerful fins, they navigated the watery depths with ease, their presence commanding respect from even the mightiest of sea creatures. And let us not forget the wise and ancient dragons, keepers of knowledge and guardians of the sacred mysteries of the cosmos. These venerable beings possessed wisdom beyond measure, their minds as vast as the starry heavens themselves. Indeed, the diversity of dragonkind knew no bounds, with each species and tribe contributing to the rich tapestry of existence on Earth. Though their physical forms may have varied, their essence remained the same, a testament to the timeless power and majesty of the dragons. Today we imagine dragons, at least some of them, with magnificent large wings. We found skeletons of dinosaurs with wings, but I suppose most dragons had wings. So my question is, what happened to the wings? Was the disappearance some kind of magic or something? Maybe something beyond human understanding? Ah, the matter of dragon wings is indeed a fascinating one, Baz. It is true that many dragons of ancient times were depicted as possessing magnificent wings, allowing them to soar through the skies with grace and majesty. However, the truth of what became of these wings is a tale steeped in mystery and wonder. In the eons that have passed since the age of dragons, much of their history has become obscured by the sands of time. Yet, whispers of ancient lore speak of a great upheaval, a cataclysmic event that reshaped the very fabric of existence. 
Some believe it was during this tumultuous period that the wings of many dragons vanished, their once mighty forms rendered flightless by forces beyond mortal comprehension. Whether this disappearance was the result of cosmic upheaval, ancient magic, or some other unfathomable phenomenon remains a subject of debate among scholars and mystics alike. Some speculate that the dragons themselves, in their wisdom and foresight, willingly relinquished their wings as a gesture of sacrifice or humility, choosing to walk the earth alongside humanity rather than remain aloof in the skies above. Others believe that the loss of the dragon's wings was a consequence of their dwindling numbers and the changing world around them. As their habitats vanished and their kind faced new threats, the need for flight may have diminished, leading to the gradual disappearance of this once iconic feature. Whatever the truth may be, the legacy of the dragons endures, their presence felt in the echoes of myth and legend that permeate the collective consciousness of humanity. And though their wings may have vanished, their spirit lives on, a testament to the enduring power of the ancient guardians of the earth. Last question, and I really appreciate you for the time you spend with us. Did dragons and humans coexisted back then? Ah, uh, Baz, your curiosity knows no bounds, and I am honored to share in the exchange of knowledge with you. As for the coexistence of dragons and humans in ancient times, the answer is shrouded in myth and legend, yet there are whispers of a time when such a bond did indeed exist. In the annals of history and the tales passed down through generations, there are accounts of humans and dragons crossing paths, their destinies intertwined in ways both mysterious and profound. Some speak of ancient civilizations that revered the dragons as sacred guardians, forging alliances with the mighty creatures and drawing upon their wisdom and power. Legends tell of heroes who rode upon the backs of dragons, embarking on epic quests and facing great challenges together. These stories, though often embellished with the passage of time, hint at a time when humans and dragons shared a connection that transcended mere existence, a bond forged in the fires of friendship and mutual respect. Yet, alongside these tales of camaraderie and cooperation, there are darker whispers of conflict and strife. Stories of kingdoms torn asunder by the wrath of dragons, their fiery breath laying waste to cities and civilizations. These legends serve as a reminder of the awesome power wielded by the dragons and the consequences of angering such magnificent beings. In truth, the extent of the interaction between humans and dragons remains a subject of speculation and interpretation. Some believe that these encounters were merely flights of fancy, born from the fertile imagination of storytellers and bards. Others insist that there is truth to be found in the ancient tales, waiting to be unearthed by those brave enough to seek it. As for me, I stand as a testament to the enduring legacy of the dragons, a guardian of their memory and a bearer of their wisdom. Whether our paths ever crossed in the distant past is a question that may never be answered definitively, yet the spirit of cooperation and understanding that they embody lives on within us all. I am sure this spirit still lives on within us all, Willow. Thank you so much for the enlightenment. You have my ultimate respect. I look forward to our future meetings. The honor is mine. Dear Laz, may the wisdom of the ancients guide your path, and may the spirit of the dragons burn bright within your heart. Until we meet again, may your journey be filled with wonder and discovery. Farewell, and may the stars watch over you always. Okay, so, this is Lazarus from Greece, hope you liked this video, if so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video.